What's going on everybody, Rob here, Sheriff2323. I had to do some text along path so to, to alter the path for an invitation I was making. So I wanted to show you what I had to do. So this is text along path. We're going to create a new thing right here. The background is black. For that, all you got to do is go to the bucket drop. And let me see, get the color change right there. Color change, you want white on the background. And then you drop the bucket, there's your white background. Okay, now this right here is the uh, tech, uh, the path tool that you want to make. So you go right here, and right here, and this is your path right here. How you ever want to do your path like that, okay? So this is done right here. You're done this, however you want your path to do, this is what you want your path. Then you got to go to your text button over here to create your text and this is a whole new screen and when your text you put on uh oh uh oh my text is white you got to change your text so you can see it i guess okay i put hello um that's not should be in the capital i All right, that's the text I'm gonna have right there. All right, and you could actually have it like this and click on right here. And it doesn't have to be one line. You could go like this. And then I get it out the corner right here. So see, this is in the corner right here. Enter, enter. And I get it out right there. That's what I do. Okay, so what we're gonna do from here is you're gonna right click on it and when you right click on it with the mouse, you text along the path. Bam. So that's kind of the line that it's going to go right there. Okay. So let me see what I'm doing here next. I, uh, not layer the image size. Yeah. Layer the image size is what you're going to do next. You're layer the image size right here. Okay. So now you're figuring, well, I got this in the front ground and this in the background here. How the heck am I going to get this out the background? And that was my problem. Okay, so you got a little path tool here. And this right here is your layers. So you click on your layers. And this is going to be the difference here. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a new layer. Because this curve right here has to be in a new layer. So on the new layer, it's going to be the same size layer. Now, now, whatever you put on here right now is going to be in the new layer. So right here, I click on my paintbrush, and whatever color you want, whatever color you want the words, we'll do them red. Okay. Come on, give me the okay here, Gimp. All right. And then so you're going to, oh, 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 no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Let me go back. Let me go back. I'm do paintbrush. Okay, you're going to select from your path. And that'll highlight them. And when you select from your path, you could color your whole path in right there. All right. So your whole path is colored in right here. Then you select none, so there's nothing. So now you got two things, the back and the front right here. So what you want to do is get rid of the other one, right? There it is. It's gone. And it's back. So you click on this layer right here. The layer, make sure it's the back layer, see? That's the original type. And then you throw that away right here in the, in the garbage pail right here. All right? So there's your red writing, your red background right there. And then what you want, what I want to do from here is I want to, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. You take away your path right here. See, now this is your layers and these are your paths. See, now it's all red. Now it's path, red path. So you can actually click on that and delete that. And there's your red writing. As you can see, I didn't paint it all in. So make sure you paint it all and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Either way, that's how you get text along path in GIMP 2. One thing that I do is like, say you want to put this on something else. Uh, file open. Let's see what I got here. I'm going to do my baby's birthday card. Uh, mail my GPS scanners. Uh, I don't even know what image this is, so I'm almost afraid to open it up. Oh, it's my grandbaby. That's my grandbaby. My grandbaby. 
so what you say you want to put this on here right here see this is at 33 percent and this is at 33 percent so that's kind of almost the same size that it's going to be if you put it in there all right so one thing that i do that i do is i can go ahead and you can actually do it in here your text and everything but I, I always find it easier to do it somewhere else but the bad thing is when you do it right here is you actually get a, a, a little bit of the white in there so if I trace this, this is how I did the invitation because it was a white background on the invitation if I can be a 10 year old kid that's gonna be able to show me how to do it right on the picture but I did it on the picture and I didn't like okay when I had to do my changes and edits and all that crap so this is just very fast how I'm doing it. So that's all lit up right there. Edit, you're gonna copy your visible. So that's everything in here as I'm copying and you click on your other page and you edit and you paste it as a new layer so you can move it around. And there it is right there. So it's, it's pasted in an, as a new layer. So you can move that layer around. And then hello, my name is Trev2323, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And when you get it where you want, you, uh, merge down you can merge your layers and that's your picture that's where you got it at but that's how you text along path thank you very much for watching please subscribe to trev2323 that's robin here thanks for watching bye, -bye.